Hey everybody, Brother Jason coming to you for your Friday devotion. And this just happens to be January 1st of 2021. Happy New Year. Thank you for starting off your new year, giving me a few minutes to spend with you, giving me a few minutes to share the Word of God with you. And, and I want to come to you, we're going to read out of Psalm chapter 143. Psalm chapter 143. It's a beautiful psalm. It's a, it's a time in David's life when he's he's calling out to God. He's He's really, he's been down and out. He's having a tough time. He's been through a lot of hard things. And I tell you, when I, I read Psalm 143 and verse 8 this morning, it's a little devotion I get uh, every morning. Uh, I get a little scripture sent to me from Love Worth Finding. And and today, that this verse really spoke to me. And I said, you know, this is a verse I want to I want to share with whoever will, will give me an opportunity to share with them. And again, I appreciate you for that. But but Psalm 143, I think we can all relate to, to what David was going through. I think David could have related to, to what all we're going through. Wow. 2020, what a year, to say the least. I think any of us in all of our lifetimes, 2020, we could at least say was definitely one of the most interesting years we've ever been through. Many, many things happened. Uh, a, a lot of focus on the bad, but I want to tell you, there was many, many good things. I've seen lives saved. I've seen many lives recovered. I've seen many lives lifted up. I've seen a lot of great things happen, and, and I do not want to overlook all of the good that God has done in the year 2020 for each and every one of us. Now, now, can we find some bad things? Absolutely. I think we all could. I think we could all agree with that. No argument there. But let's not get focused on the bad. Let's, let's remember 2020 for the good things that the Lord did in our life, that the Lord you know, helped us to, to be a part of, maybe, maybe prevented us from getting involved in things that we shouldn't have. But we're going to look at Psalm 143. Again, a, a uh, it's a prayer of, of, of hopelessness. You know, David kind of felt down. He, he was kind of depressed. And but we're going to focus on verse 8. I'm going to read that to you. It says, Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Psalm chapter 143, verse 8. So David is calling out and he says, Lord, help me. Help me keep my focus, Lord, because I trust you no matter what. So I encourage you, and I hope that you're encouraged by the Word of God, the promises in word in the Word of God. See, David was a man like many of us. He had a lot of things going for him, but he had a lot of things going against him. He made a lot of bad decisions, made a lot of bad choices, and because of that, there were a lot of bad consequences in his life. But he kept his focus. He always, when he stumbled, he got back up. And he reached back up and the Lord pulled him up. And, and again, he's calling him out to the Lord. I want to read that verse to you one more time. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. He says, help me to hear better, Lord. Help me to listen to you better. He says, for in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul to thee. He says, Lord, I'm, I'm giving it to you. I trust you. Lord, help me to see what I need to see. Help me to hear what I need to hear. Help me to do what I need to do. I pray that each and every one of us will put all of our trust in the Lord because He is our only hope. Let me tell you, we've seen this year finances. We cannot put our hope in finances. Government, politics. I believe everybody knows we cannot put our hope in that. Those are all up and down. They're fickle. They they're ebb and flow to and fro with every wind. They go back and forth. But let me tell you one thing that never, ever, ever changes, and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to remember that. I want you to be encouraged by that. And, and I'm going to close with this. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world. I read that verse many years ago. At 23 years old, that verse spoke to me. I call that a fill-in-the-blank verse. See, where it says the world, for God so loved the world, what that verse said to me in 1998, that verse said, for God so loved Jason that he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is everlasting life with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. One day we get to be with him again in glory. No more pain, no more confusion, no more sorrow, no more tears. All these things are gone. So let's look up to the Lord. I encourage you to read chapter 143, particularly focus on that verse number eight there. Cause me 
We need to look to the Lord and, and get him to cause us to do what we ought to do. So again, happy new year. I hope and I pray that this will be a, a year that you really get focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. Get focused on the things that he's done. Get focused on the things that he is, is wanting us to do. I encourage, especially I'm calling out the church. We have got to get up off our lazy rear ends church and we've got to be, start being the church again. We've got to quit being the congregation. My, my, my pastor, Brother Morris Gowen, said one time to me and said to the church, said, we have to stop being the congregation and start being the church again. We need to get up off our lazy rear ends and we need to show this world who the Almighty is, who the Lord and Savior is. There's one that is Jesus Christ. Happy New Year. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Lord Jesus. I lift up all those that hear your word, Lord. I lift them up to you, Lord. I pray, Lord, the, the, the things in 2020 that may have been really hard, that may have been really tough, that may have been bad struggles, Lord, I pray that, that each and every one of us can look and focus on what you have done, Lord, what you have provided, Lord, what, what you have kept us from, Lord, the things that, that may have been much worse, Lord, but you kept us protected, Lord. The things that you allowed us to go through, may we look at those, Lord, and see and, and see what you would have us to learn from that, Lord, the direction you would have us to go from that, Lord. And I pray that we can be on fire in 2021, starting today, January 1st, 2021. May we lift you up in our lives, Lord, as men, as women, as husbands, as wives, as mothers and fathers, Lord, as people, May we glorify you in our lives, Lord. May we have a revival like we've never seen, Lord, in 2021. Lord, may we honor you with every breath of our life. Lord, may we cleanse our hearts. May we cleanse our homes. May we cleanse our families so that we can be more about your work and honoring you, Lord, so that we can have a part in helping to lead others to come to know you as their Lord and Savior. Lord, I lift up my community leaders to you, Lord. I lift up our mayor, Rick Allen, Lord. I lift up our sheriff, Sam Craft, Lord. I lift up our, our representatives, Chuck Owen, Lord, Rodney Shamahorn, Lord, our Senator Mike Reese, Lord, and the many others across the state, Lord. I lift up all of our leadership, our governor, Lord, John Bell Edwards, Lord. I lift up our president. He is still our president, Lord, and I lift him up to you, Lord. I lift up Donald Trump, Lord, and I lift up whoever you choose to be the next leader, of our world power, Lord, of the United States of America. I lift them up and lift up all the administration that, that supports them, Lord. I lift them up to you. May we all look to you for our leadership, our guidance, and our direction. In Jesus' matchless, precious name, amen.